Hi guys, this is you know Jacob 1087 or known as JRT 1087 in the TeamSpeak forums and we'll be showing you how to stream music into your TeamSpeak 3 client. Now this is really simple to do, but it's gonna cost you about ten dollars away if you want to do it this method. It's just really convenient. And the recommendations that I have, at least have a USB headset and make sure you are able to have two sets of input and output jacks for a microphone and a stereo output or the pink and green input jacks first thing you want to do you gotta have this cable it's a griffin not that's the name of the brand but it's a stereo cable it's a three and a half millimeter jack on both ends one eight circumference that fit into the input and outputs of the jacks that way you can plug one end into your input and you can plug one end into the output of your computer to an iPod, a radio because whatever one end's connected to it can stream into your computer as a mic input so that's a benefit of also using this method and I'm going to show you how to set it up using this method in TeamSpeak 3 now this here, you notice how these edges right here they're a little bit fat um, I'll look for something smaller. This is a Belkin series, same price. I have this kind. As you can see, it's a lot smaller. And on my computer, the jacks for this are kind of cl spaced closely together. And if you had something like this, it might be in the way when you plug it in. So just watch out for that. It might not be a problem. I'm not sure. But. I'll show you how to get this hooked up and get your streaming going on and TeamSpeak. Assuming you have bought these cables, what you want to do is take one of them into it and put it into your input and output of your computer. As you see here, I put it first into the headphone jack and I'll put the other end into the mic. Just like that. And here's another view on the laptop where it shows the pink and green which identifies the mic and the output for sound. It's just easy as one and two by plugging them in. Once you have them in, I'm going to show you what to do next. What you need to do now is open up TeamSpeak. Once TeamSpeak is open, you need to go to Settings, go to Options, you need to go to your Capture and Playback. You don't actually need to worry about Playback, but go to Capture. As you can see here, you have Profiles. What you want to do is make a new profile. Go to add and create a profile that you'll be streaming. So we'll just call this one streaming music. Once you have that up, you'll notice in the capture mode and the capture devices, you should have a list of microphone inputs. Once you have the microphone input that you have selected that would come from your mic, you would go ahead and select that one. When I plugged in the cable earlier, I put it in my front mic, so it would be my front mic, Sigmatel Audio. And once you have that done, hit Apply and hit OK. So what you want to do now, you want to go ahead and open up the server. So I'll go ahead and start this. Once that's open, we can connect to the server. Once you are in the server, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and go to bookmarks and add to bookmarks. Even though it's actually already in here because I was doing this earlier. So we'll actually go ahead and delete that one. And now here's the one that we just added. What you want to do, click that server and we'll go ahead and hit more. Once you're there, what you need to do, you need to go to your capture profile, the one that we just set up, and it should be there, streaming music. So go ahead and select that. Another thing that you might want to do, if you're just going to be streaming music only, just go ahead and hit playback profile, hit none. When you have none, you won't hear any sound from this profile at all. So hit apply and hit OK. Now once you do that, we can go ahead and reconnect to the server. Okay, now I'm in this server, but it's using my mic input. 
Now, if you want to go into this server again, what you want to do is go ahead and add to bookmarks again. And it should be there. And we're going to go to more. And we're going to change the capture profile to one of them. So we'll go default, which would be your regular mic. Your playback, your playback profile would be none. But we want to change that to default. Once you do that, you can rename it to uh, one, and you can name the other one streaming. That way it signifies which profile has what, and you can move this over to see the name. Since I'd be talking to one, it would hit apply, and we'll go to connections, connect, and new tab, you go to bookmarks, go to there as you can see I am now in both servers and that's an advantage in TeamSpeak 3 as well once you are in that server you can go in between tabs and you're in the same server twice in different tabs but like we did here you will not hear the music or any sound from this channel from this profile at all, you can go into the channel that's streaming, which would be the first me, and if people talk in that channel, they won't you won't hear from that same profile because you can see your headphones are muted, but you can still stream. And this is how you set up streaming. Right now I'm not using this as a sound for my computer, but the cable is actually hooked up to my iPod. But if you want to stream music to your computer, this is what you do. If you are using a USB headset, you don't. What you want to do, you want to select the uh, audio driver to use your computer's default sound card to use the mic input from the output. Use the output from your computer to go back into your mic input. So, what you want to do, you want to go to Control Panel, and we'll go ahead and open up our Sound tab once this loads. Once you have your sound open, you just want to choose the correct uh, audio, the select driver, the capture card, and we'll just hit this one. This is my main computer's uh, audio card, so we'll select that. And once you do that, you can open up Windows Media Player or something that has music into it, and you can go to Songs. And whatever plays out of here, you will be able to um, hear in TeamSpeak. So just start playing it and make sure you have it hooked up and you'll hear it. And that's pretty much how you stream music into TeamSpeak. And make sure that some cards that I know, if you put hook something up to the front, jack it will take away the sound from the back jack if you have that problem that might not work for you this method some of them it may it all depends but usually if you have speakers hooked up to your computer there's usually an output on that speaker that you could use instead and you can run it from your speakers directly into the mic input but like I said it's easier if you always use a remote input or a, re a USB headset, but this method's really best for hooking up to your iPod.